Emma, welcome to our Women in Sport Spotlight series. Thank you for having me. Now, just because it's fresh in your mind and you've just been for a surf, how do you feel when you get out there in the ocean? When I get out there in the ocean, on, on a calmer day, it really relaxes me. Have you always surfed or been active? Yes, definitely always been active. Um, surfing, I did as a grom, like, all the time. I probably dreamt about being a professional surfer. Um, you know, so it's kind of strange that this is the way that it's come about, but it definitely was a dream. So now it's a bit different getting out there on the board. Can you tell us about the surgery you had a couple of years ago? I had been dealing with severe neck pain for a very long time. Um, I'd been wanting to get back out in the ocean. Now the kids are a little bit older um, and be able to go surfing with them, but due to this neck pain um, and it was crippling, I, I went for weeks on bed rest and wearing a soft neck collar. So yeah, I decided that it was time to take drastic action. Yeah, so um, just didn't go to plan and now I'm here. So I present with the brown sequard syndrome, which means that um, it's an, and it's an incomplete quadriplegia. So um, I have part, um, movement on, and strength on my right side. Um, on my left side, it's weaker in, and I cannot wait there on my left leg yet. Um, hopefully one day I'll get there soon, maybe with a brace and hopefully one day with no brace. When you woke up and found out it didn't go according to plan, what were you told and how did you take it? It was just like a bit of a process really. I was in ICU for six days. I just kept thinking, oh, it, I'm just going to get better. And so I don't know if it was denial or if it was just literally not understanding what was the severity of it. Um, but yeah, I just took everything day by day and I really drive to like stay in the moment with this whole thing because um, I, I know looking back it's not ideal, it's, it's not going to help me in any way. Definitely have had dark days. Um, it's not been an easy ride but um, I think for the most part I'll put on the brave face when I get out in public and yeah um, unfortunately my kids have definitely seen moments where I'm not doing so great so uh, but they are, when it comes down to it, the main reason why I keep putting one foot in front of the other. What gave you the motivation to get back into the water? When I was in one of the rehabs, um, I had a very kind nurse um, helping me out. She seemed to always be very understanding of my um, like emotions and how I physically felt and mentally. Um, so I would always have great chats with her. And in the end, it turned out to be Sam Bloom's sister. Um, and so when I left that hospital, she wrote down on a sticky note her number and said, call Sam. And um, took me a little bit of time, but eventually I did. And through that, Sam gave me a board um, to borrow and we had a great chat and we'd go surfing um, and yeah eventually Sam said let's go um, to the Australian Surfing Championships and yeah I just like I, I just got that drive and that a little bit of competitiveness in me and I really um, enjoyed being out there in the competitive space. So I have um, a pusher and a catcher um, that help me in and out of the water. Um, yeah, so I'll kind of got my crutches down to the shoreline and somewhat try and be elegant getting <laughs> into the water. There's definitely no elegance in coming out of the water. Um, that's much harder, but um, yeah, I have two guys and one of which is my husband that help me in and out and they are vital. I still can't paddle properly with my left arms, um, definitely kind of requiring them at the moment but you know I hope to one day get to a point where maybe I can even get up on my board and like kneel. You want to inspire others to get out in the water and bring more awareness to parasurfing so how do you want to do that and why? I'm trying to start up Northern Beaches Parasurfer Board Riders Club um, and at the moment we're kind of piggybacking off the back of Monovale Board Riders Club until we get to a time where um, our membership is enough that we can branch out to move out on our own. We've already got a double 
the amount of interest this month coming um, than what we did when we first started in February. Yeah, we'd like to get some of the younger kids involved and um, get a bit of depth to the sport. And Emma, what do you want other people to see or learn from your journey? Be open um, to any situation that arises um, and to take action where you need to take action. Um, just by doing those things, other things have opened up for me.